Yeah, let's do her. Hey, are we here? We're gonna do her there one time. You boys gonna do her? You boys gonna give her? There was that line that, uh, I think Jim Liban told me that story. They were setting up at some club up a little north of town and a couple of old fellas at the bar. And one guy got up there as they were setting up. He goes, you fellas gonna give her? The answer to that is hell to the yeah. Maddie Kay in the house, Sugar D. Martian Murray, Black Cat Music, Sugar D, Sugar D. Black Cat Music, we're coming to Tulsa. We're coming to living on Tulsa time. We got Steve Andrioni in the house, ladies and gentlemen. He's got that fancy white Yamaha bass. That's right, Dylan on the drums, he just came from lifting some heavy machinery, heavy rocks. He likes to rock and roll, both figuratively and literally. So, oh, can you dig it? All right, we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna start off with something. I think what we're gonna do, I think what we're gonna do, let's start with that six-legged fire-breathing dog. That's, that's the mating call of the six-legged fire-breathing dog. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs>
Scott Jones wants to know what snare is he playing? It's a Ludwig. Ludwig? Super light. Super light. Ludwig Super Light. Steve Andreoni on bass. Ludwig Super Light. Steve Andreoni on bass. Those are the, that first song was from our uh, that latest uh, EP that we put out on vinyl, Six Legged Fire Breathing Dog. And you can still get that on uh, our website, gregcock.com, is a place where dreams come true. Um, gregcock.com is a place where dreams come true. I don't know if you're aware of that. Um, I saw an interesting post <clears throat> on the Intergoogles yesterday. I posted something about this guitar workshop I'm doing on uh, Davide uh, Pinozo's website, which is called guitarlab.com. I'm doing a thing on uh, later this month. And uh, I posted a thing and said, Greg's goatee is looking luxurious. And I'd like to say, you got damn right. Behold my luxurious, luxurious beard. Can you dig it? Now you can also, uh, you can also get uh, the new record on Bandcamp. And uh, go under Cock Marshall Trio on Bandcamp, and you can find where to download uh, the new record, Six Legged Fire Breathing Dog. No, that's on there. But the record's called Melting the Farmhouse, because we recorded it at a farmhouse. And by God, we melted that place with the sheer power of our jams. We burned it down to the ground. We melted that sucker on down. Let's have a little fun. Uh, we were kind of messing around with Sissy Strut. Let's kind of mess around with that a little bit. That was kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, see, the key of C. And then that after we do the head, we'll just, we'll just frolic and see ad nauseum until we don't. And I'll cue the head again. With the power of gristle, anything is powerful. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs>
That brought the eclipse out in me. Yeah. Only 89% Only around here. Yep. You know what? When I saw the eclipse, um, I was transported into a different realm. You know who I saw there? <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. And you know what he said? Bro, thanks for playing my jams. I said, thanks for making them. And then swoop, I was back where I came from. So that was cool. Thanks, Eclipse. Allowed me to meet Jim. Uh, Midnight Molly says, hey, Turn of the Burner, can't wait to find uh, try your food truck. Yes, this is true. Turn of the Burner has a food truck. Yes, he does. He's got a food truck. It looks like it's filled with delicious nourishment. I bet it's filled with delicious nourishment. Um, he does all kinds of different stuff. Yeah. Have you, you haven't tried it yet? I haven't tried it. It's brand new. It's brand new. It's brand spanking. Thanks for that tip, Dennis Charles. We appreciate that. I see all the other tips, too. What do we got? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for scrolling up. We got, oh, Sugar D. Thank you very much. Jake Knudsen. Matty K. Thank you very much, indeed. We appreciate that kind of activity. It helps us keep on keeping on. Bass truck. Yes. I like it. Albert, Albert King Lick, please. We can do some Albert King. Let's do a little, uh, let's do a little uh, cross-cut crack. I got a cross-cut crack. We're going to do a little rumba time. In the key of A, as in, key of A, as in almost eclipse. What? That's not real. <laughs> It really cuts good. 
I got a cross cut saw, baby. Bury in your wood. Well, I'm a cross cut saw. How they drag me across your lawn? I cut the wood so easy for you. Can't help but say I saw. You can't help but say, I saw, or you can't help but say, hot dog. I don't know which one it is. I think it's, I saw. You can't help but say, I saw. You can't help but say, I saw. I like hot dogs. I like hot dogs, too. Hot dogs are delicious. Yeah. Speaking of which, we're going to be in Toledo in not too, too long of a time. Hey, check out that website for the tour dates. We're heading down. Uh, we're going to be in Toledo, uh, outside of Toledo, Toledo, at a place called the um, Village Idiot, which we love that place. The village idiot. Um, then we're going to be um, down in Warrington. Is that? Yeah. We're going to be at the Blue House Theater in Warrington, uh, Missouri. We're also going to be at the glorious Mojo's Boneyard, which we enjoy very much, and that's in Evansville, Indiana. Then we head down to the Mercury Lounge in Tulsa. Then we're at a new place. Actually, I think it's a place we played at before in Oklahoma City, but it's got a new name. And then we head down to the Dallas International Guitar Festival. So we will be there, ready to rock. Yeah, horse, horse, uh, I can't say it, because it says, it says something dirty. But he's saying, uh, I could say hot saw. I could combine them. I like it. We could say that. Uh, we could do that. Can you dig it? How's it going out there, y'all? You having fun? How's it sound up there? You sound all right? Does it sound all right? Can you hear everything? I know it does because Ryan's on the case. Ryan's on the case. He's got a smile on his face. Oh, Ryan's on the case. He's got him out of that thing. Um, James Blessed is asking about the UK. As a matter of fact, I talked to Dudley the other day, and we are, we are working on something for the first week in October. Um, so we shall be there. We're also going to France. Uh, earlier uh, in September, we're going to be in uh, France. We're going to be in Germany. We're going to go over there, and we're going to rock people's brains. Um, they may beg for mercy, but they will be shown none but sweet, sweet musical domination and delight. Domination and delight. Domination and delight. What a killer guitar. Thank you. This is one of my signature Reverend guitars. This is a gristle master with, of course, my signature doggone fishman pickups that are called the Gristle Tone Pickups Fluence. Fishman Fluence Gristle Tone Pickups for Telecaster or T-Style guitars. Love for you guys to play in Japan. I'd love to come to Japan. We need to talk to somebody over there. Japan, we are coming. Japan, we are coming. That would be good, clean fun. Now listen, 
Uh, we're going to play a little song right now. Are you ready for a little, uh, maybe a little absinthe? We haven't done that one in a spell. We're going to do a little absinthe. Uh, this is a tune of mine from back in the day. 1998 is when I came up with this selection, the lofty days of 97, 98, back when I still had a fierce skullet and, um, and my beard wasn't so luxuriously white like the pelt of an Arctic minx. Wow, the pelt of an Arctic minx. Are there Arctic minx? Yeah. All right. So I called that right. Uh, I never see you play the Reverend with the Bigsby. Actually, I do. Uh, I do. I could play that. Uh, I could play that one. Uh, I just I like the bark of this one. That's because I. It's kind of my. It's kind of my ground zero, my true north, if you will. I do like the other one. I could plug that sucker in. Why not? I think I have it fully ready to rock. We'll see about that, though. We're going to see if it's ready to rock. We're going to see if it's ready to rock. We're going to see if it's ready to rock. Get back in there, you son of a bitch. Oh, I used inappropriate language. I'm going to get flagged by the people that use tubes. YouTube is going to go, we can't have any of that musky language being used on this format. And I'd say, what is musky language? Is that fishing talk? I don't know. Hot dog. I can't help but say hot saw. Hot link. I can't help but say hot links. Hot link. They're so damn delicious. You know what else is delicious? Sweet Musical Congress. Thank you. 
Lamar Jones says, absent of absinthe, I'll have some vodka. I like what you're doing. I like what you're doing. I like what you've done. You're having a little bit of cotton pick fun. That's right. Nothing wrong with it either. You're having a little bit of that cotton pick fun. You know, we're going to do, uh, do a little song right now called Night Owl Now. And this is a shuffle tune. And the shuffle is good for your corns. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Jay asks if I will be at the woodshed this year. I will not be at the woodshed this year. They uh, got a whole new squad coming in there, so it looks like a good lineup. Uh, I would have liked to have returned, but uh, actually I'm going to be out of town that weekend anyway because we're uh, we got a gig up here, pretty good festival gig happening, and then we head out to Europe like days later. So it worked out well for everyone. Um, I think. I think they're all new contestants this year, other than Andy Wood himself. So it should be a good, good time there. Lots of good people. Steve Morris is going to be there, and Ariel Posen, and Tom Quayle's coming back from a couple years ago. Uh, but yeah, it's a good time. <laughs>
Yes, can you dig those kind of activities? That was a song called Night Owl Now. You can actually hear that one on a record I did called, um, hmm, yeah, good story. No, it was on a record called Unrepentant. A thing called Unrepentant. What am I using? Guitar Jams wants to know, what pedal am I using for the Hammond organ sound? I am using the uh, Mini Vent 2 by Neo Instruments. It's a German company, Neo, N-E-O, Instruments. And uh, the Mini Vent 2. It's got a fast and slow, and it sounds so doggone chocolatey. It sounds so doggone chocolatey. Every time I play it, I got to snort a big line of Ozempic afterwards, or else I'm going to be 3,000 pounds from all the juicy, caloric goodness of that rascal. What? That sounded inappropriate. Hey, Lance, what's going on, Daddy O? Long time no see. Can you dig it? Oh, can you dig? I like that kind of talk. All right, let's see what else we got in the coffers. Ooh, uh, I like this guitar set in the spot. My shoes are all muddy. I went for a walk today, and there are some juicy spots on my trail. And the mud, and the water, and the water, and the mud. And then I have to figure out how am I going to get past this impasse of water and mud. Water. And then you know what I do? I levitate. <laughs> Using the power of the great eclipse, I was able to just conjure up thoughts of floating in my mind. And therefore, I just floated. I can't explain the mud on my shoes, even though I levitated over the great confluence of mud and water. That's right. And I saw Jimmy again. He yeah. said, bro, they're never going to believe it. Get those shoes dirty so you can... What? I don't know. Uh, drifting on a sea of forgotten teardrops. All right, let's do a little, uh, let's see what we got. What have we been done in a while? Uh, oh, that's Crimson Davos style. Let's do that one. In B flat. Uh, over yonder Lord that's where my baby stays I 
said there's a red house over yonder I said that's where my baby stay yet yeah Well, I ain't been home to see my baby In about 99 and half days Wait a minute, something's wrong here. I said the key won't unlock the door. I said the key won't unlock the door Well, I got a bad, bad feeling That my baby, she don't live here no more That dirty strumpet Got my guitar. I guess I'll go way back over yonder. Way back across the hill. Wait a minute, something's wrong here. Words there. Way back across the hill. You see, my baby don't love me no more. Well, I know good and well. Her sister will.
Some of the words got a little froggy there towards the end. I was so overwhelmed with, with the ways of that recalcitrant woman and the locksmith that presumably she hired, who was maybe doing the, the stupin that caused this whole ma the mess to begin with. Um, Lord have mercy. Did you hear that? Crimson domicile. You're coming to England in October. We'll definitely be in Germany, David Clark. We're going to be in Deutschland. We are also doing the, um, that's Steve Andreoni on bass. Martin, Steve Andreoni. He asked, who is that bass man? It's Steve Andreoni. Steve Andreoni. We're going to be at the Mannheim Guitar Summit again, but we're also doing a bunch of different gigs in Deutschland. We'll also be in France. We're going to be, I think we're going to be in the south of France, which I don't mind. South of France, I'm a fancy pants. I'm going to the South of France. I'm going to the fancy pants. I'm going to the South of France. I'm going to the fancy pants. And that's going to be good times. That's going to be good times. And a little bit of what I'd call great oldies. All right, so we've heard this rascal. We're giving this one a little tussle. We're giving this guitar a little tussle. We're giving it a little bit of the muscle. Ah, oh, yeah. Woo! Are you guys having a good time out there in movie land? I know it's not technically movie land, but I like to say that it is. Um, um, mm, interesting. In movie land, where people ingest sweet music. You guys are aware that apparently there was a, a solar eclipse today. There was apparently... You know, and there were people that drove a long way to see it. They said, holy cats, I need to see me some eclipse. And they went. Uh, I just made out a, uh, a cereal box made out of uh, Cocoa Krispies. Um, but it's the, uh, it's the kind of, uh, it's not the, the Kellogg's Cocoa Krispies. It's the, uh, the good for you Cocoa Krispies you get at... Um, you know, uh, what's that place? Outpost. The, the co-op. It's the co-op version. And uh, I love a good Cocoa Crispy. You know what's good with Cocoa Crispy? You make a Rice Krispie bar out of a Cocoa Crispy. I got to tell you, that is a valiant effort. Food is hard. Food is hard, ladies and gentlemen. I need to lose some, some pounds. And uh, you know what? It's hard because, number one, food is delicious. And dieting sucks. Although I move around. I'm a moving son of a bitch. Dylan and I have been working out with pumping iron. He's been, he's a gym rat. He's very powerful right now. He could bend the stream with his bare hands. And it would come to you slightly off kilter because he had just taken it in the ether and went. And he's, yeah. And he said, come with me if you want to lift, right? That was a horrible Arnold I just did. But I think I got the message across. All right. Uh, you should play a Pink Floyd, Floyd song in honor of the, you know, I don't actually know any Pink Floyd songs, except for that, wait. Hodor! Hodor! Um, Martin, that's kind of extreme. He's saying Pink Floyd sucks. I didn't say that they sucked. I like Pink Floyd. I just... You know the thing was for Pink Floyd for me, just as I, uh, the drums just weren't popping enough. It wasn't, you know, I just needed a little. Rah, rah. Well, there were, they had some great tunes. And that one is, whatever that song is called, Birdie. I love that tune. That's a good tune. That is a good tune. Yeah, man. Um, uh, Quarantine Eclipse version. <laughs> yeah. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a little bit of a song we like to call. Um, what the hell is it called? We just played it. There, thank the Rex Charmer. We're gonna play Rex Charmer. <laughs> I'll tell you what. That uh, Tone King amp sounds damn good. Yeah. It sounds good, by Jim. <laughs> I want to be
I felt that one right down to my damn corns. I got some corns down in my sneaky. My sneakers are covered with a little bit of that road brine. My great walk. A little bit of that road brine. A little bit of that Rex Charmer. Uh, Mr. McBraster's got some requests. I like him. What we could do, have we done that uh, villain over that Hendrix thing? It's an A. It's an A minor thing, and it goes to the four. It goes back to the one, and it goes up to F, F down to D, D back to the one. We're going to do it. This is a little Hendrix tune I like playing. It's called Villanova Junction. He played it at Woodstock. I think there are a lot of people there that may have been on some additional medication that perhaps was not prescribed by their medical professional, but perhaps from a dude named Sunshine. And um, yeah, there may have been an eclipse. Many, many people might have perceived an eclipse over that weekend of August whatever, 1969. I was only three at the time. Uh, the only trip and I was doing was on a little bit of formula, probably, and uh, some kind of biscuit that was consumed. Tasty. All right. Here we go. Oh. <laughs>
that, ladies and gentlemen. What a festive bunch of tunes, man. That's 5.05 already. We played some sweet music for you all. We hope you had a dog on ball. You know, we're with you at the end of the week. We're with you at the beginning of the week. What more do you want? We tried to... Uh, did Greg go to Wildwood this week? No, I, I was out there a couple weeks ago. I'm going back out again next week. So, um, yeah. Can you dig it? Uh, Jim C. says, My buddy gave me his two unused Woodstock tickets. They gave up on taking them to get in, and I cannot find them to this day, sadly. That is sad. That would be cool to find those. I wonder if they smell like weed. Uh, after all these years, maybe you could get a little contact buzz just by touching them. Um, maybe. Patrick McManus, what's going on, Daddy O? You're asking me if I have a Jaguar. I do not have a Fender Jaguar. I do like them, though. They're cool. I don't have a Jazz Master either. I've been playing some Jazz Masters out at the Wild Woods, and uh, they, uh, they scratch an itch. That I need itching, scratching. You know what I mean? I want one. <laughs> now, folks, don't be afraid to um, uh, click, like, share, and subscribe. Is that what you got to do? Like, share, and subscribe. I guess that's what that's done on this internet thing with the, the YouTubes. And, um, and also, don't forget, be afraid to go to the old website, gregcock.com, to find out where we're playing and, of course, all of our various sundry items are on there, and uh, you can go to Bandcamp and get a copy of the new record as well as the old records, and uh, as Matty K says, and tip if you can, we certainly do appreciate it, we'll find a good place for that currency, uh, it's not going to be used for uh, malfeasance, okay, uh, it's going to be uh, used for good clean fun, uh, you dig it, all right, listen, we got to go, we'll see you cats on the flippity flop, thanks for tuning in, we'll see you on... We'll see you on Friday. Bye now. Martin says, would you do a guitar master class in my villa in Italy? Yes. Yes, I would. Contact my people through gregcock.com. <laughs>